Hello everyone, uh, I'm CJ, uh, also known as Siege in A Township Tale. Uh, what I want to do is just show off a few little bits and pieces that um, we've been doing with consoles. Um, nothing too spectacular, just a few little tricks that hopefully might be of interest for people. Um, you might see a few unusual things such as my my buddies floating over here. Um, I'm quite fond of this aesthetic. Um, let's get started. Blade dance. So probably a little difficult to see, but that was just jumping around the place. Blade spin. Goes a little crazy. Hover. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh. Hmm. Let me change the view. Hopefully, I can show that. That's not what I expected. Hover. Hover. Um, hmm, okay. Look at me. Look at me. Okay. Destroy. Destroyed. Hmm. Um, yeah, you, you'll you notice that um, while I'm doing things, quite often there'll be a, a voice. Um, I've set it up just for confirmation, so... If there's something that I can't see, I need to know that it actually went through. Um, voice controls are a little finicky. Um, select crystal sword. Selected crystal sword for siege. Destroy. Destroyed. So what I'm doing is um, I've set up a way to focus on individual players. So instead of saying names in every command, I just change who I'm focused on and then every command will apply to them uh, like right now I selected myself so it's like focus on me me selected yeah I just say focus on and then another play player's name and the commands would apply to them and then I can spawn things near them or select things near them uh, changing stats things like that like uh, for example, uh, set speed 3. Set speed 3. Speed set to 3 for Siege. Boom. I love speed. Everybody loves speed. Unless they have motion sickness. Uh, set speed 1. Set speed 1. Speed set to 1 for Siege. Okay. Um, set hunger to... That one has no confirmation, but it did work. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a little awkward to try and show you some of the things I'm doing um, with the camera because of angles and things. Um, but yeah, I'll just show you what I've been messing around with. Uh, a lot of this, it's not really serious, it's just for fun. Um, teleblast. Hopefully you saw that uh, teleport potion just appeared. And just roll down the hill. Uh, destroy. Destroy. Destroyed. Okay. Um, so I can spawn items and make them kind of speed forward. Uh, something else that's quite fun to do is spawn tele potion. Spawning a tele potion. too far. Um, holding on to objects and then blasting them. Blast. Always fun. Um, I'll actually move forward a little, see if I can make contact with the wall. Blast.
Yeah, so hopefully you saw. Um, it does actually make make contact. So if you hit a player with that, it will teleport them, which is a lot of fun to be honest. Um, you can use other things as well. Spawn a tomato. Spawn tomato. Blast. Yee. Uh, the speed can be changed as well, and the distance. You may have noticed the gems floating around here. Uh, I can actually interact with them somewhat. Um, hopefully this will show up okay on camera. Uh, last. Uh, I don't know how well you saw that, but that one on my shoulder just shot away. And I can actually get it back. Last. Ooh, I think it went through the wall. Yep. It was stuck on the other side of a wall that, that I spawned before. Blast. That, that is fun. Move up 0.7. Yeah. Um, nothing amazing. It does actually do impact. Can be destroyed. Um, yeah. Something else that I think most people know about, but maybe not everyone has had a chance to test it out, is um, object manipulation, uh, which I'll, I'll demonstrate. Um, spawn platform 5. Platform 5. Select ground. Okay. Yeah, spawning and moving items. Uh, move down 1. The voice controls aren't perfect, as I said. Uh, move down one. Move down one. Move up one. Uh, move left, point three. Okay. Turn right, ninety. Ninety degrees. Okay. Um, move up five. Um, destroy. Destroyed. Something else that I quite like doing is just setting up small little events for players just to, to keep things exciting. Um, here's one I, I tried out once before and it seemed to go down quite well. Um, involves a little setup, but it should be okay. Um, spawn treasure chest. Spawned one storage chest. Select ground. Okay. Look at me. Okay. So basically, just fill it up with whatever items you want. Uh, I'll just use gold for an example. Make it rain. Make it rain. Or, if you're feeling generous, make it flood. Make it flood. Boom. We have a treasure chest up there. We have a platform here. Um, the idea is players will try and jump on there and see if they can reach the, the treasure, uh, which is a lot harder than it sounds. Platform cycle. So I could just keep repeating that, and I'll try and reach the treasure. Um, having, you know, moving platform, it's a very simple idea, um, but you can get a lot of use out of it. Um, 
what I just showed you had quite jerky movement. Uh, there is a way to do it much, much smoother. Uh, I just haven't got around to setting it up. I uh, probably will at some point. Bombing raid. It does actually do damage. Um, a variation which doesn't do damage but can be used in other ways. Um, stun Seed Rain. Yeah, get slowed. All these are doing, uh, spawning these items then moving them to random locations within a certain area. Um, technically you could use any item. Um, or... Uh, th this takes a lot more time to set up, so I might possibly speed up the video later. Um, let me go. The nuclear option. Something broke. Yeah. One of the earliest kind of combination attacks, I guess, that I set up uh, was this one. Um, Let chaos reign. Let chaos reign. It's going to look a little awkward through the camera. Um, Yee, party time! Yeah. So basically, that it turns it to night time, it spawns gas, poison gas in a huge area, and spawns these guys. Uh, daytime. 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 I should really spread them out. As some of you will know, there are chess assets in a township tale, which are only accessible in the console for now. Um, I really, really, really like this idea, so I wanted just a faster way to set it up. So I'll show you what I have so far. Um, set up chess. Setting up. So you'll notice that I didn't place them on the board directly. That's because doing that, they don't snap to the board, which means it's very easy to knock everything over. Um, but at least this way, the positioning is correct. So then it's a lot easier to, to pick them up and place them. And, oops, wrong place. Jeez. Um, and if they're position, positioned correctly, you can actually like nudge the board, they won't fall off. It's wonderful. Um, and I used to have a table that, that appeared, but then the board would start to rock. So 
I got rid of it. And when we're done, clear chess. Clearing. I quite like watching this, to be honest. It does take time, but so does chess. Oh, um, yeah. I kind of hope people will start playing with those because it's a really, really, really interesting idea. And I think more games would be really fun. Showing off the inn a little bit. Um, I wish I could take credit for this, but, but I can't. Just helped out a tiny bit. Um, you can see the barrels in the back. Uh, I think this one has water. Uh, no, no, one of them has water. The other one's actually filled with teleportation liquid. And you can fill up flasks or anything with, with the liquids. It's a, quite a handy little cooking station in a custom building.